in God through His Son Jesus Christ and by the help of the Holy Ghost, it was me. So godliness can only come one man stay devoted to this God through the sacrifice of Jesus and by the help of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. By the help of the Holy Ghost. This involves scrupulously and precisely and carefully believing God. That means precisely and carefully believing who? God. Now, if you have this, if you have this precision of believing God, every word you read, you will thoroughly vet it. Read the chain. You will thoroughly do what? Vet it. To understand it. Don't ever assume. That what you think about the world is the right meaning of that world because assumption is the worst mistake of our world. Oh, I thought that's what it meant, but truly, that's not what it meant. Praise God. And so, if you are careful, the more you believe God for everything, you will go to the world about that situation. Believe in God by leading your life according to the teachings, the whole song was of Jesus. Not according to what you think is right. Because what you think may after all be absolutely wrong. My God, it will be from this one. What you think may be very, very wrong. And my implication. Then you must do a life free of sin. That's why Jesus Christ. Are you aware? That the reason why Jesus came, laid down his life, is so that he can give us another life that is free of sin. And then when somebody says, I am righteous, I am holy, Christians will have I didn't talk about it. I spoke about myself. I said, I'm right, you are holy, and you are angry. He said, you are angry. Hey, Jesus said, I am the Son of God. They say he naked himself a Son of God. What is their business? He didn't say you are a Son of God. He only said, and my qualification is that I am born of God. The same way when I tell people I'm righteous, they get angry. Why? Because they are bereft of knowledge. The word of God says, whosoever that is born of God overcomes the world, even our faith. You cannot be born of an holy God and still be unholy if somebody is like me. Righteousness and holiness is gift of God to everyone that does what he did. You will not become a hallelujah. Until you believe it, proclaim it, you will not become it. How then can a man, born as a woman, live a life free of sin? That's the question. And that's the reason when you say I'm righteous, oh, it's is how unplayable. He gets angry. But that is the truth about me. I am righteous, holy, and unplayable. That's the truth about me. I don't know about you, praise God. The one thing I know is that because I accepted Jesus into my life, God says concerning me, I don't know about you. He said, Behold, all things have done well, passed away. All things have become new. So I have a man made new who has no path. You have been talking about my yesterday. That's the reason Nicodemus looked at Jesus in his ministry. He was seeing miracles every day. Ah, they said there were five thousand who went to take that day because his ministry had begun to flourish. Praise God. He said five thousand followed him, including when that is where he was preaching. And as they were preaching, he took so long that day. And in the evening, he discovered he didn't give him that they were hungry. Are you with me? Because he was carrying in the place. Then I said, is somebody to bring my son? 
He had the world and the work of the dead. Praise God. So the point is, and before his very eye, his prayers and those, his prayer and those was enough to see the whole crowd. Praise God. This way the miracles and Nicodemus consistently saw. And then one day at night he sleeps. The Bible he was a Pharisee. Praise God. He was a believer. Part of those who couldn't believe the calling of Jesus. Part of those who didn't see and believe his leadership. But he saw his followers continue to increase and multiply. So that's it. He went by night. Praise God. And he said, I have confirmed what you do for my father. And no man can do the things you do except God should do. Praise God. Say, so what must I do to become like you? Praise God. Say, Master, what must I do to become like you? And say something to me. John chapter 7, verse 2. Somebody read from me. I don't want to read this one myself. When your leadership begins to manifest, people will come to you at all hours. Good and not so while they divide with you. They break down. Yeah. So this man came to Jesus by night. He said to him, Rabbi, you know that you are a teacher of come from God. We have seen by our salvation that you are truly a leader and that your leadership is of God. Are you hearing me this morning? Praise God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. What will happen? We cannot see the kingdom. Lord of God. So you catch new birth. So have your spiritual eyes open. And prayer is the king. Praise God. Prayer is what? The king. Look at the next. Verse 4. Nicodemus said unto him, How can you mock a man be born? When he be told, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus himself, very devoted to his son to you, unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit. What will happen? Huh? It's not a no. The master is no. It will be hard. Man, you see that? Unto what? Submission. I'm with the mouth. Confession is there. Salvation. The one who is righteousness. Praise God. So, he first of all, you need to believe. It was because Nicodemus was beginning to believe that he went to Jesus at night. And then Jesus said, Listen, after that you have believed, you need to take another step. And that step is to yield for the baptism of water. And the next one is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes into your life, your leadership will begin to show. Somebody say, I'm here. When the Holy Ghost comes into your life, He will begin to unveil to you deep things. The Bible says, Yeah, deep things of this. Life. In your office, there are things you can't see with your physical eyes. There are things you never will see. But when the Holy Ghost comes in, He will come to you. I can see somebody beginning to see you in this season in the name of Jesus. And if you are that person, the father your element, the father you will become. The man is the man before water. Wash free of that life of sin by the word of God. Wash free 
by of that life of what sin. Listen to me. The blood of Jesus is a brother. Brought a means to walk away, to erase. That's why he said, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are what? No, because the blood has gone. When the blood speaks, everything becomes new. Praise God. He cannot see the kingdom of God and the Lord and power to live it. God's kind of life, the life of the spirit. But the life of flesh, which is wrong, this wrong disposed, liable, inclined, and susceptible to sin in the life of the old man. That one which is wrong, liable, susceptible, are you hearing me? Predisposed. He must, he doesn't want to sin, but he just sees himself in it. Oh, the Bible said he is our teacher, our comfort, our helper. Praise God. Amen. He will begin to teach us, comfort us, guide us through. Hallelujah. And sin will become stage to the system in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 6. John 3. And that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. He said, That which is born of the flesh is what? Flesh. And that which is born of the spirit. When the spirit comes in, you have been regenerated. Are you hearing me? You have become the spirit man that God made you to be. Hallelujah. Now, that man that the spirit came to take, take, take away and replace was the man the first Adam received. When he disobeyed God, what is it? Simple disobedience to God's instruction. That's not steal. That's not kill. That's not. That's not for the kid. That's not. Are you listening to me? But when you get born of the spirit, you become the spirit. The things of the flesh will no longer dominate the man. Praise God. Because until you are born again, you can't see. Nonetheless, assess your divine nature in Christ. Hallelujah. And the power thereof. Water baptism and Holy Ghost baptism, baptism is man's access to God's kind of life. Praise God. It's our access to God's what? Kind of life. So when you get born again, you receive water baptism, God's prophet. Praise God. After that, you have received and that's not the confession. You need water baptism and you need Holy Ghost water baptism so that you can become an integral member of the family and then have access to live your divine nature. Now, answer this simple question. How can I be the answer? With the raising of the hand. Uh -huh. Is it the only one that is the same? Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody is a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about you? You are no sinners. Hallelujah. If you have accepted Jesus into your life as Lord and Savior, Jesus, that the reason why he was made sin is so you can become the righteousness of God. So, no, no, no. If you dead, if dead you are, not if dead you are sinners, then you are not of God. And if you are not of God, it means you are the devil. <laughs> so, the first qualification of identity of the Son of God and the children of God. See, this was a good thing. See, the righteousness. The one that is born of God is righteous. The one that is born of the devil is a sinner. Praise God. So if that becomes the case, 
disobedience to God is not true. But the Bible says the fool says there is no God. The wise man said, Hey, I know there is a God. Are you hearing me? And he is deliberate about avoiding sin. Now, committing sin involves getting to what the world can do. Okay, okay, let's go to where I give it another example. So when God says whoever that is born of God does not commit it, it doesn't mean the person does not fall into sin. He said he is not deliberate about disobeying God's word. It's not so. There are those who are deliberately offending God. They in they are. In fact, everything God says they should do is the one they don't do. That's the greatest thing. Praise God. So I don't commit sin. Because I am not of the sin. Are you there, Nancy? So, if that becomes the case, what how can I be the life without sin? Praise God. God knows that you are a mix. You are a mix. So, and that is Now, the word which is your flesh is canine. And it tends towards canine every time. But the spirit tends towards who is God. So he knows that the Bible is a factor in his own. Praise God. That when you receive Jesus, you no longer find it comfortable to bear in sin. And if you mean, sin becomes strange to you. Does it mean you will not fall into sin once in a while? No, you will. But when you do it, you turn up, make up with God, and continue with your life. Because hear what he said. He said he has protected your sins for you. Is he that you should continue? No! The spirit that has come is earlier to see. And so when you commit sin, he grieves your spirit. Are you getting me? You are grieved and you are paid. And that moment, you receive your forgiveness from God and you from the earth. Don't stay to praise God. That's the difference between a sin and the people who fall into sin. That one is called transgression. Praise God. How many of you remember the prayer line? The one that Jesus brought them. You know one day one of them went to Jesus. Then he can be scared. Say, Master, teach us how to pray. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Because what? I want to end it here. Are we all there? Come on, let me have it. Pass what? So now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he sees that one of the disciples said to him, When he sees that one of the disciples came to him, Lord, teach us to pray. And demanded, Lord, teach us how to pray. The same way John the Baptist taught his disciples. Praise God. Now remember we started the prayer, right? One thing I want you to take home is that if you must emerge, if the king in you, then you must emerge. If the leadership in you must show, let your life be ruled by prayer. Praise God. Let your life be ruled by what? Prayer. Let that teach us. Why were they hungry to be taught? Because they see Jesus producing great results. Demons saw him and they would not have said, Hey, my son of God, would you who invited you to come here with us here? They wanted the same result. And so one of them said, Master, because when they came, they saw him pray. 
and they realized that his previous life was not similar with theirs. Now, you must know that his disciples knew about the existence of other ministries. They were meeting, yet they were looking at other ministries. Just like most of us also are invested in what happens in other ministries, primarily. So he said, Master, there is a way. The, the disciples of John pray. Teach us how to pray. Jesus was not ignorant that there is a way. The disciples of John pray. But he came in a different temple. Oh, somebody is here. Hallelujah. Which means the temple that John gave his disciples was not perfect. And so he still kept them a different model of prayer. He said, when you pray, say, our Father, who art in heaven, hard no way to be in your head. So when you go to your father, brother, number one, appreciate God. That's what he said. Let your prayer begin with what? Appreciation. Because he who is not able to do appreciation and smarten, he cannot do appreciation in the plenty. So learn the attitude of God and appreciation. So he said, Hallow be your name. Thy kingdom come. So number two thing we need at our prayer closet is let your kingdom become real over my life. Do you know what I put it in? I think it's a question. Uh, above all, it is my wish that thou mayest prosper even as your soul. So the prosperity of your soul is the number two. Let God pray. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let the kingdom come as it is in heaven. That kingdom come as it is in heaven. Can somebody continue with that prayer line? Next. Next. Give us this day our daily bread. You see what? The man now with this. So before even you think of self, what to eat, he did not bother to tell them about to work. He only said, just daily bread. People want to trouble God for tomorrow for next year, for 10 years to come, for 20 years to come. He said, our Father knows everything we need. Give us a daily bread. And the next one is forgive us our what? Trespasses. Trespass is the close to the foundation. He didn't talk about sin. He didn't. He didn't talk about sin. Huh? And forgive us our what? Good. I got to death. And forgive us our trespass. That's the funny thing. in a man. And forgive us our what? Trespass. He knows because you have the flesh is on this side and the spirit is. And you can So sometimes the things you want do not want to do. That's what Paul thought. And he said, Hey, what do you? And the things I don't want to do. And the things. Because there is a contest always between the flesh and the spirit. So God. You know, sometimes, you know, they get on. Because the brother is a father. He said, if you do, we fall. We have an advocate, a road, Christ Jesus. Where is he now? What is he doing? Interceding for us. Praise God. Now, when you fall, you have a sinner. <laughs> this one is not of me. You can watch me. And if you are deliberate in sin, you are so comfortable with sin. You know, there comes a time when people are comfortable. In fact, they rationalize sin. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Let's stand to our feet. Let's take it. Who said that the Son of God does not come in safe? The reason the 
born again Christian does not commit sin. It's simple. Because he does not show commitment to sin. Praise God. In fact, every time you know what's wrong, your heart, your conscience, and that conscience is not good except if you have the spirit of God. And that is the gift of man to God. And say, God, I want to be delivered. I have the feeling of purpose here on earth. I want to be delivered to live a holy and righteous life. Help me to continue to dwell in the same place where you have done me. This is a great prayer. Open your mouth and begin to talk to him. Praise God. But he said, Christ in you, he is the for glory. He will shoot the word, Father, brother. Lord, I know that of myself, I can't do anything. But by your help, I can live well. Live a godly life. That the reason you sent your son, Jesus, to die for me. That through his death, I can become your righteousness. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. You are welcome. Hallelujah. I'd like you to celebrate yourself this afternoon. It's a great moment in this presence. Please be very seated. You must understand that it's only in the path of man that ignorance is not a reason. God knew that you are likely to know the truth. He sends his son. Eh? To open his way up to us. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's only in the court of man that ignorance is no excuse. Can I stop? The Bible says that until the Lord came, sin has a blessing. Yeah. So Abraham and his people God knows him. Are you aware? It was the Lord that God said. Until the Lord came, sin was not imputed into man. That's what the scripture said. So it was the Lord that granted sin access into the man. And some people say that a lot of people committed. What did they commit? It was not sin as far as God is concerned because there was no law. But today, the Bible says there is another law that is operating. You know the law? Yeah? Next one. Praise God. We will be looking at it. Hallelujah. There is another law that is operating. No man's faith has gone. They are in care for no condemnation. The death which walk after the world, the spirit, which walk not after the flesh, but after what? The spirit. If you go further, you will see some explain. Praise God. God will help us. I say God will help us. Listen to me. You can't live a holy life. You receive a holy life. And the more you confess, the more you become. Praise God. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Who is handling our offering today? <laughs>